Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple. breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home. No one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramy specifically because Ramy just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramy is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call and I can call any of them. Any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? MyTown TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You are not alone. Reach out today. Here at Paul G. Blazer High School, where the Ash and Kittens are prepared to take on the visiting Boyd County Lady Lions. And when it comes to these two teams and these two schools, you can always throw the records out the window. It's going to be a a great matchup because these two schools don't really care for each other. So, anyway, we've got a big, big night for you. Big rivalry, My Town matchup. These are both My Town TV schools. And we're going to come back and get things going here in just a minute. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants.
Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Welcome back, folks. You are watching My Town TV, My Town TV Sports. I'm Brian Barber. I'm going to be here today calling all the action between the Kittens against the Lady Lions here in Ashland. It should be a, a good one. And both these teams come in with kind of similar records. Boyd County just one game above 500, 10-9. And, nine. and you know, the Ashland Kittens come in at 7-7. Seven seven. They are playing better softball. Definitely much improved from a, a year ago. So, and Scott Ingram's got this team believing now. And, and uh, of course, Boyd County, they bring in a lot of youth and uh, some young arms out there on the mound. We're going to see, see tonight. And uh, Ellen Simpkins will be going for – for, for Boyd County, and of course, um, for Ashland to be Addie, Addie Lane. And again, Addie, Addie's had a pretty good year. She got a big, big win over Belfry uh, here Saturday. And uh, uh, Boyd County, again, they're they're right there with, with everybody. I mean, these two teams are capable on any night of beating anybody. They've got just enough talent to, to really score some runs. And I can't wait to get this thing started. It should be a good one. And uh, for Boyd County, you're looking at their lineup will be Simpkins on the mound, and Mila Hamilton to be at first, Grace Stevens at second, J.C. Goad out at short. Savannah Henderson, who leads the team with 23 RBIs. She'll be out there at third base. And left field, you got Maddie Badgett. Center field, Jaden Goad. And the right field, Gracie Gilbert. And, of course, behind the plate will be Kylie Coons. As you can see now, the uh, Coach Ingram's out there now with some, his captains. And they're getting ready to get this thing underway. And, of course, for Ashland, will be the usual suspects for the Kittens. You will see out there at uh, first base will be Harmon. And, of course, uh, Delaney. And Delaney, of course, will take up the middle. What a, what a middle infield right there. Those two girls can get it done. Not much gets by them. Center field will be Troxler out there. And uh, right field, McCreary. Left field, Ingram. As the coaches shake hands and get this route around the way here pretty soon. Again, it should be a good, a good one. It's definitely a great day for baseball. Temperature mid-80s. Not much wind out there. Be a good day to bring. I hope all these fans brought some suntan lotion because they're going to need it. Of course, Ashland, the home team here, they have a nice, nice contingent of fans out there. And of course, Boyd County, they will bring some good fans as well. They always bring a lot of fans. Again, a big, big rival. You know, maybe it's more of a rival to me than it is to kids. I know back in our day, it was uh, we just didn't like each other. But again, as we get ready to start this thing, we're going to take one more quick break, step out, and pay some bills. Again, get, uh, come back with us, folks. Don't go anywhere. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208.
Alrighty, welcome back. We're getting closer and closer to getting this baby underway. It's a My Town matchup tonight. Boyd County High School and Ashland High School. Of course, both are My Town TV schools. And again, My Town is definitely a player's first program. That's what we're all about. We want to get these uh, kids as much exposure as we can. And we're listening now to Matt Lynch, a PA tonight, announcer. We have your Ashland Kittens taking on the Boyd County Lady Lions. Now the starting lineups for the Boyd County Lady Lions. Number one, Ellen Simpkins. She will be pitching as well. Number 11, J.C. Gove. Gove, she's been playing. Number four, wow, what an Savannah athlete. Number Henderson. Number 25, Myla Hamilton. 22, Arby Hazard. Number seven, Kylie Coons. Number 33, Brooke Jacobs. Number three, Grace Stevens. Number 21, Maddie Badgett. Double zero, Jaden Goad. And 22, Gracie Gilbert. Kittens. Number 21, Brooklyn Duckwaller. Oh, Number three, Grace Delaney. Number 13, Jenna Delaney. Number 9, Alana Troxler. Number 12, Ashley Lane. Number 13, Ashley Lane. Number 14, Ashley Lane. Number 15, Ashley Lane. Number 16, Ashley Lane. Number 17, Ashley Lane. Number 18, Ashley Lane. Number 19, Ashley Lane. Number 23, Aubrey McCreary. Number 60, Emma Pinson. Again, there's your starting lineups now for both sides. And again, I was impressed with Ashland's. Uh, this is my fourth game doing them, and haven't yet, I've yet to see Boyd County, but uh, Ashland much improved. So anyway, we're going to do the anthem, and while we're doing that, we'll step out and, and take a break. You're watching my Titan TV Sports. We'll be right back. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramy specifically because Ramy just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramy is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call and I can call him, any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? MyTown TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You're not alone. Reach out. And welcome back. We are just about set to go here. There's Ashley throwing a few more balls around as we wait for the first Boyd County batter. Again, a beautiful day for, for baseball. We've got a temperature of 88 out there right now, real feel of 93. 85 in the shade, and the winds are coming in from the south, 5 miles an hour. Gust up to 16 miles per hour. UV index is high at 7. 
rain probability only 40 percent so again should be good to go here folks do have a little cloud cover 50 percent cloud cover right now and it's currently daylight for 13 hours and 17 minutes that is all fresh in from the my town weather accuweather studio courtesy of andrew goble meteorologist so addy lane we'll get her look at boyd county first look and she has pitched really well last three games leading off with the lady lions number one ellen simpkins a couple big wins for her over bill freedom they shellacked huntington high 11 nothing all right so ellen simpkins steps in right hander takes first pitch strike no one right down broadway Again, Simpkins only an eighth grader. Wow. Swung on her. Ball hits a short. Grace Delaney fields it. Throws on to first. In time. Bang, bang play right there. Nice job. Delaney flashing the leather out there. And that takes care of Simpkins. For first out. J.C. Goat. Brings up J.C. Goat. 435 average. Three bombs. Four two-baggers. 10K. 16 RBIs. Solid, solid stats. Takes that first pitch from Lane High and inside the ball. Folks want to mention continued prayers for Tay Thomas after his accident over the weekend. And uh, I'm sure much appreciated would be his family for that. So, again, continued prayers for Tay Thomas. Fine young man. As Goad takes ball two. So Lane now behind an account. Two balls, no strikes. And she gets ready for the old 2 0 pitch. On its way. And again, go taken high. So 3 0 now. Let's see if Goat has the green light here. Let's see if Coach Lance Caesar will give her the green light. We'll see here. 3 0 on the way. Taken all the way for a strike outside corner. 3 and 1 now the count to J.C. Goat. Boyd County shortstop. Only a sophomore. Again, Wood County, young team. Takes that one for ball four, and she'll trot on down to first base as Duck Waller will go back and get that from the screen. And with one away, Boyd County has a runner aboard. Now batting number four, Savannah Henderson. That brings up the RBI leader for this Boyd County team, Savannah Henderson. Still just one away here. Just underway here at Paul Blazer High School. Anderson taking that one all the way and showing a good eye right there as she takes the ball for a 1-0 count. Anderson, as I mentioned, is a team leader in RBIs with 23. She also has three bombs and eight doubles. Hmm. That's, good. That's getting it done. That's putting the ball way out there, folks. And she takes ball two. Ashland in her home white with maroon trim and, of course, Boyd County in their road red with the white trim. So Henderson back in. Two-0 pitch, swing and didn't get it. Nice pitch there from Addie Lane. Again, Boyd County is, comes in here at 10-9. and 2-1 and one in the region, 1-0 in the district. So as far as playing local, they're doing really well. They play a tough schedule, as does Ashland. As that one's fouled back off the screen. Yeah, both these coaches, they don't shy away from a tough schedule. They, they, matter of fact, they, they crave a tough schedule. Get this team ready for you know, the spring, the big tournament there. And I'm not sure if it's going to be at Jack Fisher Park in Owensboro this year or not. That's a ball high. So two and two the count now to Savannah Henderson. She does have 11 Ks. Pretty aggressive hitter. Very patient. She takes ball four. So back to back walks now, given up by Addie Lane. That puts two aboard now with one out. And we'll get our first look at the first baseman, Mila Hamilton. Hamilton. 
Hamilton Jr. She's Will has three home runs. She takes that first hits the ball. Ten RBIs, four strikeouts, and again another number on the team with eight doubles. That's a lot, along with again three bombs. So Wood County does have some power. Eight home runs on the season. As that's another ball from Addie Lane. She's been behind now the last three batters, so she needs to find a strike zone. Make him swing. Inside jam job, foul off the plate. So two balls and a strike now to Myla Hamilton. The junior first baseman. Taking her time a little bit there before she steps back in. Natty Lane looking over at Scott Ingram. And yeah, she's ready. 2-1 pitch on the way. Swung on a little pop-up to third. That'll be caught by Pinson, and she'll check the runners. Nothing doing right there, so big out right there for Addie Lane. So Hamilton unable to get the sacrifice. Now batting number seven, Kylie Coons. And we'll bring up Kylie Coons. 317 average, nine RBIs. Case you're wondering, Boy County, they do steal a lot of bases. They have 43 stolen bases on 48 attempts. That one's popped up in here. It's going to be in the gap. Base hit. Let's see if that run is score. McCurry gets a hold of it, throws it in. And they'll just get the, limit that to one run. So Wood County strikes first here in the top of the first. We'll take a one nothing lead here on a nice piece of hitting right there. Coons put that right where she needed to. There's a classic looking base knock right there. Nothing Delaney, Troxler, or McCurry could do with that one. So the first hit gives him an RBI. Let's see what Jacobs can do here. Two way top of the first, one nothing Lady Lions. This is my town matchup. Lady Lanes 0-1 pitch inside off the plate. That will get a run in. Here she comes. Ooh, head first slide. How about that? You gotta love the head first slide right there. Savannah Henderson looking like Pete Rose going in there. So that will be another run and a tough break. That's why you don't want to walk too many batters, folks, right there. It will come back to haunt you. As it has just now to Addie Lane. So now it's 2 nothing. Boyd still has a runner out there at third. Two away. Swing and a miss, chasing a little fastball outside right there. Brooke Jacobs couldn't get to that one. So ball two strikes now. Yeah, one outside. So count goes two and two now to the Jacobs. Got a runner right down there at third. I'm sure she'd like to bring her in. The Lions have struck for two already here in the top of the first. Big Montana matchup. Fastball inside. There's a chop out to right field. McCurry coming in. Got it. Little Willie Mays. Hey, style right there on the shoestring catch. Well done. So, Boy County does strike first. They get two hits and score two runs, and they leave one. So, at the end of a half one here at Paul Blazer, you're watching Montana TV Sports. It's 2 nothing Lions. We'll be right back. Ashley Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Hand-cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs, Texas Roadhouse has something for everyone. Visit TexasRoadhouse.com or download the Texas Roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online. Fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at Texas Roadhouse. Order their legendary catering for your next event. Located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall, Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. 
Welcome back to Paul G. Blazer High School. We are watching a My Time TV matchup between the uh, home team, the Ashton Kittens, and they're taking on the Lady Lions of Boyd County. Big time rivals. And should, be, we, should be a good one here. Boyd County has struck first, at the top of the first for two. And uh, just really just got two hikes. I think they just had one hit there. So they get two runs, one hit. They did have a pass ball to score another one of the runs. So anyway, that was Coons with the big RBI. And again, we'll be looking at Ashland the first time through here. Duckwilder will be leading things off. As I mentioned before, Brooklyn Duckwilder is just a sensational athlete. She was a big part of that sensational Ashland Kitten team that just couldn't seem to get past Russell there in the region. Uh, tough break for them getting Russell on the same side. Again, Russell, another My Town TV school that represented the region well. Leading off tonight for Ashland, number 21, Brooklyn Duckwilder. So there we have it. Brooklyn Duckwilder steps in. As he mentioned, she's she's getting it done. 426 average, 10 RBIs, and three home runs. Swing and a miss. That's funny. I was just going to say how patient Ashland's been at the plate. And the last few games, they've really impressed me with their patience. They've got a lot of walks and not swinging wildly. But again, that must have been a pitch he liked. Another swing and a miss. Hmm. How about that? Ellen Simpkins is getting it done right now, bringing some heat. As he's ahead, no balls, two strikes to the leadoff batter. That one a little bit low for ball one. The ball, two strikes now to Ashland catcher, the youngster, the freshman, Brooklyn Duckwiler. Takes ball too high. That one's ripped foul, slicing out of play. First base side. Fans like to remind you to return all foul balls to the concession All righty. Reset things now. It's 2-2. Nobody out. National trails, 2-0. Duck Wilder leading it off here. That one's in the air, right field. Gilbert coming in on it. She'll make the play. So Gracie Gilbert puts that in her pocket, and that will be one away. They get the leadoff batter. Big first out right there. Now batting, shortstop number three, Grace Delaney. And brings up Grace Delaney. Delaney, of course, is 341 hitter on the year. Three doubles and one triple. Seven RBI. There's a little blooper up the middle. That's going to be an infield hit. And I don't think there's, you know, honestly, folks, I don't think there's much Grace Stevens could have done with that if she would have caught it. Going, going hard. To her right side there towards the shortstop. No, I don't think she could have made a play anyway. So if it's me, that's an infield single. Number 13, Jenna Delaney. And we got Jenna, Jenna Delaney in her 452 batting average. She has uh, leads the team right now with 16 RBIs. Three doubles and, of course, no home runs. First pitch to strike. Or excuse me, Jenna does have a home run. Part of Ashland's six home runs. As I mentioned earlier, Boyd County has eight on the year. The ball high. Ashland's second baseman steps back in, taps the plate, and gets ready for this 1 1 pitch. Outside corner called strike. I will say one thing the umpires, from what I've seen so far this year, they've they are really calling that corner. So now it's the ball, two strikes to Delaney. Staying alive right there. She swings and kind of just pulls something over to the, the right side, just kind of trying to get a piece of that one. All right, here we go now. One, two pitch, getting ready. Delaney down at first. Grace Delaney, that is. Again, swung on, pop over the right side, just between the Boyd dugout and the press box. A win, really not much of a factor. Right now, the flag pretty much still out there. It's one, two pitch again. 
Delaney from good eye takes low for a ball, so it's 2 2 now to Jenna Delaney. And she has her sister down there on first. And Grace. That one swung up, hit up the middle in the gap. That's going to drop. That's going to be a base hit. And that will just, just be uh, held to a single right there. You know, actually, that ball got to Jaden Goat in a hurry. So now Ashley's got a little something, something going here. Just one out, but uh, two on now with Delaney's occupying both bases, and that brings up Alana Troxler. Batting right at 300. 14 RBIs, that's second to team, and one double, two triples, and two bombs. Not bad. He fouls that one over to the Boyd County dugout. Lance Reeser, the coach over there, dancing over that one. How about got him in the leg? So Simpkins is ahead in the count. No balls to strike to the hard hitting Troxler. That one's fouled right back at us. And she's in a hole now. No ball, two strikes. I'll tell you one thing when she takes the cut, she does not get cheated. We'll feel the breeze up here. I think the umpire had some sweat in his eye or something right there, so he'll throw his hat and mask back on and we'll get ready to go here. No ball, two strikes, and not really sure what was going on there. All right, now we're ready to go. No balls, two strikes. Strike three called. Tough break for Troxler. So it's two gone now. Up next, the pitcher, number 25, Addie Lane. You heard from the PA man, Mr. Lynch over there. Addie Lane's up now. Still two on, two outs. Bottom first, two nothing, Boy County. First pitch strike. Ashton has a chance right here to do something. Run right there at second. Here comes Simpson. A one pitch. Outside and low for a ball. So one one the count now. Helen Simpkins. On the mound out there for Boy County. There's a 2.82 ERA. It's not bad. Another ball high. She has a however, she does have a three and six record, two saves. 59 innings pitched and 47 Ks, only 15 walks. He's got good control. Another ball high to Addie Lane, and that's three balls and a strike. Now that's the first uh, batter of this inning has, I believe, had three balls for Ashland. So two outs, and Chin and Grace Delaney will be running here. Anything put in play, of course. Three one on the way. That's fouled right field, out of play. Down to the Boyd County bullpen. Please return all foul balls to the concession stand. So we're set to do it again now. Now it's a full count here. Two outs, bottom first. My town TV matchup. Two nothing Boyd County. Swing on that's in the air. Second base, not to be a easy, easy put out for Grace Stevens and. That will do it for Ashland. They get one hit and strand two and no runs. So we're through one here complete at Paul G. Blazer. It's 2 nothing, Boyd County. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashland, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. 
Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome back, folks. My time TV Sports. Brian Barber with you here today on this gorgeous day for baseball at Paul G. Blazer High School where the nighttime matchup is underway. We're through one complete here, and Boyd County leads Ashland 2 0. Each team with a hit. Ashland had the hit field variety last bottom half. And Boyd County had the big RBI single from, of course, it was Jacobs, I believe. So again, now we're ready to go any number two and get this thing underway. Second baseman, Grace Stevens, will come up to bat. Takes her first look at Hattie Lang. Stevens batting 333, seven RBIs, one home run, two doubles. Inside strike. We got to give Simpkins credit last inning. Pitched really well. Stayed ahead of the head, head of the batter until the last one, but great job getting out of trouble. Oh. Thought that might have grazed your uniform, but I guess not. Was that pitch there inside? We'll even things up 1-1. One, one. As I mentioned before, talking about stolen bases, Boyd County. That one's in the air. Ingram over to catch it in front of Troxer for the first out. Easy put out there, and that will retire Stevens. Up next, number 21, Maddie Badgett. Maddie Badgett stepping in now for the Lions. Badgett playing left field today. She gets her first look at Addie Lane. Hmm, he was bringing that one. Just missed for a ball. In case you're wondering, Badgett has, uh, has not hits on this early part of the season, I guess, still. 281 average. Does have 13 Ks. She takes a strike there and even things up a 1 1. And Badgett is, I believe, she's only a. Um, is she a sophomore? No, oh, she's a senior, excuse me. Might be the only senior they got playing right now. A couple eighth graders out there, as I mentioned. Ellen Simpkins, one of them. Brooke Jacobs, an eighth grader. Hear yeah, that mitt popping. That's ball three, so. Lane having a little hard time here finding the strike zone. She's behind now, three and one. Big swing and miss right there. Looks like she took some more of that one. Nice pitch. So with one away, nobody on. Badgett looking at a full count here, facing Natty Lane. So her lines are up two nothing. Top second. Swung on, it's in the air, right side, shallow right field, going back. Oh, what a catch. How about Delaney out there showing some leather, man? Wow. Might be our Clark's pump and shot play of the day right there, man. Now back, double zero, JD goes. I don't think people realize how hard to catch that was. Over the shoulder is always hard. That's what made Willie May such a legend. Mm. So now it's a big out right there, two away now. And Addie Lane had fallen behind. Three balls and a strike, and they would get out, of, get out of that one. All right, so we got a left-hander up. First pitch swung on, fouled back off the screen. It's, that's Jaden Goad. 375 average, two RBIs. Jaden played in 17 games, 15 hits. Will look like a drag bunt, but right back to lane. They'll throw on the Harmon first base, and that's it. So, Wood County leaves nobody on, and Nashville gets a pretty good inning. One, two, three inning. We're going to go to the bottom half of the second now. It's Boyd County 2, Ashland nothing. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back.
Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Welcome back, folks. Bobby Foster to lead things off here. The bottom half of the state with the kittens. Going to work is Ellen Simpson down there now. Down to right back to your offer glove. Going to be a close play at first. That's going to be an infield hit, I would say. Oh, no, they're going to call her out. How about that? Boy, kind of staying with it. Nice hustle right there. It was a close play at first. I don't know, but, of course, the umpire's right there. I'm not. Up next, number 22, Ashley Ingram. Again, that was a veteran play by the Wood County infield right there. Grace Stevens and J.C. Golden. Cut that over to Myla Hamilton. She's able to hang on to it for the out. So one away. A little drag bunt looking like a bunt. Full the first in time. So just like that, boom, boom. There's two away here. Simpkins, nice job. Riley Harmon will come up now. For Ashland, number 55, Riley Harmon. Riley Harmon steps in. Take her first look at Simpkins this year. Riley, she takes the first pitch for a ball. Riley, 37 at bat, seven hits, 189 average. Does have four RBIs. Looks at that one low for a ball. So Simpkins finds herself in rare territory behind. Two balls, no strikes to Ashland's first baseman, Riley Harmon. Big swing and a miss right there. Good pitch. Simpkins looking really good here early. Two away here, bottom of the second, Riley Harmon. 2-1 pitch, call for a strike. That even things up at 2-2. Two two. So now Simpkins is really ready to bring it. Two outs, here comes the break-even pitch. That swung on and fouled way out of play. Over the Board County bleachers. All foul balls to the concession stand. All right, so we'll do it again. Simpkins ready. Comes the old break-even pitch. Called strike three, so another strikeout for Simpkins, and that takes care of the kittens in a one, two, three inning. We're going to move on to the third now. Boyd County leading two nothing. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. Welcome back, fans. You're watching My Town TV Sports. I'm Brian Barber, bringing you today's action. This My Town TV matchup between the home Ashland Kittens and the visiting Boyd County Lady Lions. On to the top of the third now with Boyd County out to a 2 0 lead. They Struck first and top of the first, two runs. One scored on a base hit, and the other one was a pass ball. So here we go, and Boy County will tell you what, they are they are young, but they are confident. Number one, Ellen Simpkins. So Simpkins will come to the plate now and 
Third inning, top of the third, visitors half. Addie Lay on the mound. First pitch, ball outside, huh? Actually, the kids need a win here today, and it's been, they've lost six straight to Boyd County. Last time they beat the Lions was in the district championship in 2021. Got a ball outside. And in those six games, you're going to believe this, they outscored the Kittens 64-18. to But going back to 2021 when Ashland got their last win, they did sweep that season. Won all three games in 2021, so a little bit of a back-and-forth affair, these two teams. And there's a call strike outside corner. Well, two balls and a strike now. Helen Simpkins, the Boyd County pitcher. Another youngster. And of course, you look back at this region. Ashland was pretty much dominant at this century. And, of course, seven region titles. The last coming in 2019 with Scott Ingram at the, at the helm. So Coach Ingram does have some good experience. He has led this team to the state. Of course, Ashland had that famous run from 2009 to 2015 with the likes of Hensley and company doing the damage. And, of course, the Montana Faust gave East Carter three straight. I can believe that was 20, ooh, man, 2016 through 2018. As Simpkins is retired, good pitch here from Lane. So J.C. Go will step in now. One away. First that was a big one. Getting the leadoff batter retired. And believe it or not, that is Lane's. I believe first strikeout. So, it's a 1 0 count now. The first pitch was a ball. Seems like this region has been the home of back to back champs. Well, Round County do it again this year. That one's in the air. First base side. Duckwater and Harmon gave chase, and that one's right in the Boyd County bleachers. As I mentioned before, Ashland had that run of, I believe it was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight. East Carter had, then comes with three straight. Ashland wins it again in 2019, then Lewis County in 21 22, and of course, Round County last year. That's ball two now for a 2 1 count. J.C. Goad. You would think Boyd County would be on there somewhere. They've had, I tell you what, they're, you go back and look at their record each year, they've. One losing season, the last 20 years. That's impressive. That's foul back off the screen. Meanwhile, Ashland does have, I believe it was four losing seasons in this since 2000. I believe 2005 when I went back. Anyway, folks, both these teams are good at softball. Good tradition. So 2-2 two -two count now. J.C. Goad. That was swung and fell off the screen. Duckwiler one hops it. Back to Addie Lane. Again, J.C. Goad facing Addie Lane here. Third inning, one out, two nothing, Boyd County. That one's in the air, left side. Pinson giving chase to it. That will just drop out of play. Pinson and Ingram emerge on that one. Can't get to it. Again, it's amazing how much uh, Boyd County does run. They will they will steal some bases, that's for sure. Now they do have, like I said, 43 on the year out of 48 attempts, only been caught five times. Meanwhile, you look at Ashland, they're stolen bases. They have 15, or 15 out of 18. In the air, good, good shot, but a charge on that one left field. We're going back, back. Camp's under it. We're out number two. So if you hit that one in good ways, but Ingram able to crowd it in now for out number two. So two away. The RBI leader for this line team comes up to bat. Savannah Henderson, the third baseman. Henderson, a freshman. Like I said, the future is bright here for these young lady lines. So now with two away. Hattie Lane will go to work on Henderson. That first one's out, a ball up and high.
both teams took part in the big tri-state showcase this past weekend. Another successful year of that in the books now. Swung on, foul right back, just missed that one. Hmm. Well, ball on a strike now to Savannah Henderson with two away, top of the third. Her lines are leading. Two nothing. It's my town matchup. Foul tip that one back. So a ball, two strikes now to a freshman. Freshman third baseman for these lady lines. Base is empty, two away. Addie Lane ready for the one two. Anderson takes that one high. Showing a good eye, good patience. Two and two the count now. Two away. Lane looking for that second consecutive one, two, three inning here. Can she get it? Went inside. Full count now, so Henderson's battled back and made this a challenge now. Again, what a day. 88 degrees. Swing and miss. That's a big strikeout, so she gets two strikeouts this inning. That's another one, two, three inning for her, and we've played two and a half now here at Paul G. Blizzard High School. The Lady Lions lead the Ashland Kent 2 nothing in this My Town matchup. We will be right back. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Earn a degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. Aubrey McCreary. Welcome back, folks. We just heard Matt Lynch announce the next batter, right fielder, Aubrey McCreary. This will be the first kit in the bat here in the bottom half of the third. They are trailing tuna to the lady lines. First pitch swung on and fouled back off the screen. And McCreary, the right fielder, she has impressed me early this season with her speed out there in right field. Plays some good defense. Looks at the ball high. It's off the glove of Coons and back to the screen. Simpkins has pitched well so far today. Only given up to one hit, and that was the infield variety. Inside low for a ball. Well, two balls and a strike. McCreary. McCreary only five hits and 37 at bats for a 135 average. I'd just like to get that up. I'm sure she will as she takes ball three. Simpkins has that pitch from behind very often today. She's been pretty spot on throwing strikes. Hmm, just misses inside there with that one. That's her first walk, or second walk, excuse me. And she doesn't walk very many. Up next, the catcher. As I mentioned, she's only she's pretty much 71 to 73 innings now. She's only given up 61 walks, or excuse me, 30 walks. And she has uh, about 64 strikeouts now. Two point two or 2.8 ERA. Oh, oh, there's a nice attempt by Stevens out there at second, but. Just, could, just couldn't get to it. Great, great hustle. These girls are competitive. I love watching these softball games. They play hard. Up to bat next, number three, the shortstop, Grace Delaney. So Grace Delaney now the shortstop will come to bat with Ashton threatening here with nobody out in the home half of the third. 
Simpkins on her 2.82 ERA. Working hard. Got to get out of this one here. Bunt, first base side. It's a good one. That'll get both runners over. Throw to first in time for the out. So well executed. Very well executed bunt right there. That's how you do it. That's a textbook. Stepping to the plate the second baseman. Number Delaney, 13, nice job. Delaney. So after Grace's sacrifice, that will bring up Jenna Delaney. The kid in second baseman. Jenna, 16 RBIs. That leads the team. Eight doubles, two triples, and a home run. 452 average. Swung, just missed that one. Right back off the screen to us. So after the sacrifice, there's one away. Kittens on second and third. Home after the third, 2 nothing Boyd County. So Ellen Simpkins continues to work for these lady lines. It's a shot foul down the third base side. And folks, I... I apologize. I messed up on her numbers, Simpkins' numbers. Obviously, it's the wrong step. She has um, 47 strikeouts and 60.2 innings pitched, only 15 walks. And, again, she's has two saves, and that ERA is just something else, 2.82, and that's pretty good for that many innings pitched, only 24 earned runs. Puts a bat on that one. It's in the air. Right field, shallow, going back. Stevens will get the play, and we'll have a tag at third. Here comes the play to home, and safe. Go to third, safe. So, Ashland manufactures around the old-fashioned way there. And both both, uh, both fan bases are potting. Well-executed defense from County and well-executed oh, offense from Ashland. So, it's a 2-1 game now. 2-1 game. Boyd County still leads. And Ashland able to get the sacrifice, and it does give them an out. So, it's two outs now. As the line of Troxford comes up. So, we'll give Jen and Delaney her. 17th RBI. Apply the tag over there to see if Duck Wilder missed the base, but evidently not. So her left too early, so we're back to work here. Two away, bottom third. Swapsford takes that one high and tight. Her ball. Nice and worked hard to get that one in. Couple nice sacrifices. Great bunt laid down by Grace Delaney. Then, ooh, there's a shot right field. That's going to be a slashing foul. Hit that one a ton. Just got to straighten that one out. Please return all foul balls to the concession stand. Gracie Gilbert didn't even try to get to that one. She knew it was hit, was hit so hard. It was right, right, got to her right now and on out of play. Again, that's off the right side foul. So. Just like that, it's a ball, two strikes. Two outs, one run in. Duckwater down to third. One, two pitch, pop straight up in the air. That'll be caught by the catcher, Kylie Coons, and that'll be all for the kittens. They do manufacture run on a couple of sacrifices, and they cut the lead in half, two to one. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. From hand cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs, Texas Roadhouse has something for everyone. Visit TexasRoadhouse.com or download the Texas Roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online. Fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at Texas Roadhouse. Order their legendary catering for your next event. Located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall, Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home. No one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching My Town TV Sports coverage of this My Town matchup between the Ashton Kent and Boyd County Lady Lions. And this has been a good old good one right here, and it's a making of a good old good one with a 2-1 lead for the visiting Lady Lions, and we're through three complete now. And, and Addie Lane will stay on the mound for Ashland. As you see, Duckwater still down the second, showing off that arm. Ashland, of course, manufactured her run, a couple of sacrifices, and Boyd County got one on a pass ball and a, a Beavis Badgett with the base hit to score the other one with an RBI. 
Both pitchers pitched really well. Simpkins leads the strikeout battle. But Lane able to get two out of three batters to strike out last inning, so we'll see if she can continue that that trend of throwing some strikes. Okay, Myla Hamilton now steps in. Ooh. Hamilton ice in the veins right there. That thing almost hit her leg. She didn't flinch. No ball, no strikes. Visitors side of the inning here, top of the fourth. 2-1 Lions. Another inside jam job. Fouled out of play. Myla Hamilton, the cleanup hitter. Back in 4-12, as I mentioned before, three homers, eight doubles, 10 RBIs. Only four strikeouts, so she's a has a good eye to play, good contact hitter. That one's fouled out of play right side. Way high. We hit that a ton, way up in the air. It's a major league foul ball there. In case you're wondering, Boyd County will, will be back at it two days from now, the 18th against Greenup County. That one at 6 p.m. And the following day with Montgomery County away. And then Fleming County away. So they got the next three away, including this one. So that's four straight on the road for them. I'm sure they'll be itching to get back home after that Fleming County game. As it counts even now, 2-2 two -two to Hamilton. Nobody out. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on, base hit left field. Ingram fields it, throws on in. And just like that, Boyd County has the leadoff runner aboard. Big piece of hitting there from Hamilton. Kylie Coons. He's up to catcher now, Kylie Coons. Yeah, this is good. This is a pretty fast-paced game, which the softball games always go faster than the boys. All right, so after the Hamilton hit, catcher Coons is up now. Let's see if they try to get a sacrifice here. Ashland's infield playing in. Ball no strikes. Swing away. Bowed out of play. She'd like to have that one back. She just missed that one. Gets bat on that one, a hard, hot shot to third, pencil on the first, one away. Sacrifice is made though, so a nice piece of hitting right there, getting it to the third base side. So that will be a sacrifice for Coons, that will bring up Jacobs. Now batting 33, Brooke Jacobs. So Brooke Jacobs, she flied out her last at bat. Right out of the right field, McCreary put her away. There's a shot out in the right, shallow right, and it will be caught by Delaney for the second out. So Addie Lane bouncing back here rather nicely. Up next, number three, Grace Stevens. So Stevens, another fly out victim. Her first at bat. That's her second look at Addie Lane. Pitching well today, Addie is. So again, two way here, top of fourth. Takes a strike there. And beautiful day, starting to cool down just a little bit. Stevens, Stevens will put that one in play out in left field. That will get a run in. Ingram bobbed it a little bit there. And there'll be no problem for Hamilton coming around to score. Lead off hit, very protective. Boy kind of gets that run back, and just like that, they're back on top, 3-1. Big two-out okay. clutch piece of hitting right there. Maddie so give Stevens a lot of credit. That was a big-time hit. And for Stevens, that's her eighth RBI of the season. 22 hits. Another shot to play, it's short, so throw on to first, and that will do it, but Boy kind of gets a hit, another run, and 
They uh, extend that lead back out to two now, three to one, and we're through three and a half here at Paul Blazer High School. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. Earn a degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. All right, folks, welcome back here to Paul Jablisser High School. And in the My Town Matchup, I'm Brian Barber bringing today's action. We're Matt Lynch right there announcing Matt Lynch will be batting the pitcher. She'll lead off things here in the home half of the fourth. Ashland trailing now, three to one after Wood kind of gets that run back on a Stevens base hit. So Simpkins was not sure if she saw something she didn't like there. Maybe go through the signs again with Coons, and here we go. Strike high outside corner. No balls, one strike to Addie Lang. Addie Lane, 10 hits, 43 at bats, and she fouls that one out of play. Please return all foul balls at the concession stand. Lane batting 263. Let's have 11 strikeouts, and she puts a bat on that one, left field, foul, way out of play down there. So as she continues to foul them away, and she's behind a, no balls and two strikes. Nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth. Kittens are down by two to their rival. They've lost six in a row to Wood County Lions. That one's a shallow, shallow right field. First baseman calling for it. It will make the play for the first out. So Mila Hamilton puts a leather on that one for the first out. Up next for Ashland, number two, Aubrey Foster. Well, Aubrey Foster will step in. Foster, designated hitter. Aubrey, nine hits, 39 at bats. 231 average, taking a strike there. So again, Ellen Simpkins throwing strikes. She jumps out ahead here on Foster. No balls on a strike. Inside. Coons, nice job of framing that ball, though. It ripped the mitt right there. Boy, Simpkins got a little heat on that one. So, 1-1. One, one. That one outside corner, called strike. Ball, two strikes now, one out. Home half of the fourth. Uh, town matchup. A little number chop foul there. Count will stay the same. Again, both teams competed well in the Tri-State showca Showcase. Boyd County went... Of course, one and one and three. That's in the air center field. No problem out there for Jaden Goat. She will haul that in for the second out. So I was talking about the Tri-State Showcase. Boy County won their first game against Johnson Central. 11-6. They lost their next three. They lost to Scott in West Virginia, Madison, of course. And that's they lost 11-8 in that game. Then they lose to Frederick Douglas. Another tough, tough game. 12-15. And they lost the last one to Portsmouth Notre Dame. 5 to 14. A little shot back at the pitcher, and Simpkins will throw on for out number three, and she enjoys a nice one, two, three inning here in the bottom of the fourth. And we're going to move on out to inning number five, and it's My Town Matchup. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back.
Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. And we are back here at Baldwin Blazer High School on a campus here. And we are looking at the Ashland Kitten Softball Complex. And they are in the field right now getting ready for the 15 to start, top of the fifth with their My Town rival, My Town TV. Both these teams are, or both these schools are My Town schools. We love having them and we love bringing you this live coverage. It's a player's first programming. Chance for everybody to see these girls play and maybe get a shot at the next level. That's what it's all about. It's for the grandma and Florida and the aunt and uncle in Missouri or wherever. I can now tune in and watch their granddaughter play or daughter or niece or whatever. 3-1 here if we start top fifth. First pitch is missing outside for a ball. And Jaden Go now will, it's hard to believe she's only in the seventh grade. Left-hander, she's ready to go. Swing, and that was putting the air out in the left field. And we're going back, 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 chasing overhead. That's going to drop in. That's going to be extra bases for Goat. Ingram playing up. Man, he got burned. She was just too far up, folks. I mean, she was not expecting Goat to have that power, I guess. Nonetheless, it's a leadoff double. Up to bat number one, Ellen Simpkins. So Jaden Goat, big double. It's her 16th hit. Batting 375, the seventh grader. How about that? Shows bunt, and that one's high. Fifth inning here. My town matchup, Ashland, Boyd County, and Boyd County up 3 to 1 with a leadoff runner out second here in the fifth. Nobody out. Hattie Lane working hard. There's a bunt right back to her. She'll field. Oh, gets over a glove. Took a bad hop. And that's going to be a run scored as Delaney was not there. And she was covering first. And that's what happened. You know, she wasn't doing a – well, she wasn't supposed to be doing, but she was in the right spot covering first. And that one got away from the pitcher, unfortunately. So that would be the first error today for, I believe, either team. It's been a well-played game. These girls are playing playing good softball. So now with nobody out here in the – Top of the fifth, Boyd County has a run in, and the runner bit first, and they lead now four to one. So Addy Lane must buckle down now and see if she can't trudge on through this inning right here. Here we go. Ooh, that almost hit the batter right there. And, hmm. That's JC go now batting a leadoff. Batting 435 and 16 ribbies, three home runs. She can. She can hit as good as anybody. That one in the air. Way high. Duck while giving chase. Ooh, just out of play. Almost got a fan right there. Yeesh. Almost got her in the back of the neck. Man. Please return all foul balls with the concession stand. And being her, one of our finest out there. The sheriff deputy down there. Enjoying today's game. A lot of fans here. Big crowd. Ball strike. Nobody out. Top of the. Fifth, J.C. Goat. That one hit her. Ooh, I can hear from up here. That stung. Oof. I don't think um, that was intentional. According to the reaction from Lane, I don't think she meant to do that. She's pitched a couple inside low today and made a few players dance, but that one drilled Goat. So she's down at first now, and now they got two on now with a run already in, and, and of course, nobody out. Top of fifth, and we're going to get a little break here. and might having this meeting, folks. Let's probably take a quick, quick break, maybe. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, let's take a quick break. We'll be back here in just, just a second. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. 
Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. Earn a degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career. All right, folks, we are back. After all that, we are looking at a new batter here in top of the fifth, and that one almost got it. Oof. Well, I'm definitely struggling right now to throw some strikes. It's She's worked near the fifth inning, and she's pitched good so far. Kylie, excuse me, I was going to say Coons, that's Savannah Henderson batting now. And tough out. And Addie Lane finds a strike right there. Needed that one. Takes the count to one to one. Henderson has walked and base hit so far. A productive day for Savannah. And she has many of those. Inside in the dirt for a ball. So two balls a strike now. The, the third baseman of Boyd County, Savannah Henderson. She swings in that bat. And down there at first is J.C. Gold after being hit by a pitch. That one popping the mitt right there. But it takes the count to two and two. Addie Lane versus Savannah Henderson here. Two two on the way. That was swing and a miss. And that's a big strikeout for for Lane. Her third of the day. Nothing bigger than that one right there with two lines Myla aboard. Myla Hamilton. Well, first baseman now will come up with one away. Myla Hamilton. Hamilton, a big a base hit last to bat. Back in the fourth, so here she goes, one away, two on. First pitch outside corner, called strike. Third baseman, 21 hits, 412 average. 10 RBIs, good season for her. Oh, one pitch, swung on, there's in the air, center field, trots her. Camping underneath of it, and we'll have it. Second out, runner will tag and go into third standing. I think that might have been J.C. Gold going into third. So uh, number seven, Kylie Coons. a sacrifice pretty much with two-way. Now they have runners on second and third. We kind of did a good job of sacrificing that. That's Ash on today. Now that Elaine gets that Ross bag and Gets that hand right off, and she's ready to go to work now with two away. Top of the fifth, run in for Boy County. They lead 4 1. That was in the air, right field. McCreary going back, back towards the line, and we'll have it, and that will be all she wrote. So Boy County again gets another run, another hit, and they lead now 4 to 1. We move on now to the bottom of the fifth. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs texas roadhouse has something for everyone visit texasroadhouse.com or download the texas roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at texas roadhouse order their legendary catering for your next event 
located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall. Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. And we are back here at Paul G. Blazer High School campus here with the we're at the Ashland Kitten Softball Complex. We've got a good old My Town TV matchup going right now. The visiting lines are taking on the home Tomcats, and they are leading 4-1 right now over these kittens. And kittens have had trouble getting runs. They were able to manufacture runs with sacrifices back in the third, and they've been held in check since. Leading Last inning was a 1-2-3 in in for Simpkins. He's pitched well, only coming up, I believe, two hits. And looking to keep that going. Bottom of the fifth, Riley Harmon will lead things off. Here we go. Right down Broadway strike, a little curveball. So she's ahead now, no balls to strike. The home half of the fifth. Ooh, a little heater outside. That one just missing. A 1-1 count now to Riley Harmon. Yeah. Getting first baseman. Ashland needs some base runners here. That one in the dirt for a ball. 2-1 count. Riley, the leadoff batter here. That one swung and fell off the screen. Just got a piece of that one, and the count will move on now to 2-2. Two and two. I mentioned earlier the Tri-State Showcase. Boy County went 1-3, and three and... Of course, Ashton actually went 2-0, beating Huntington 11-0 in Belfry 7-5. And the Belfry game you saw here on My Town TV Sports was a good one. Good eye there from Riley as she takes the ball right there for a full count now. Ashton trailing 4-1, home half of the fifth. Swing and a miss, good pitch by, oh, that's got a piece of it, excuse me. So Riley Harmon hanging in there. Fighting off that pitch inside, and she'll stay alive for another another pitch here. And here we go. It's high, so Ashton does get the leadoff runner on. That's just what they needed. Put a little giddy up in Coach Ingram's step. He's calling time to talk to the. Now we're going to see a pinch runner. And that run for the pitch runner will be uh, 20. who is 20? I don't have a 20. Zoe oh, Zoe Smith. Smith. Okay. The eighth grader, Zoe Smith on the run out first for Riley Harmon. Big walk there to lead off the inning here in the fifth. Bottom five. Ashland right, so needing some runs to get back in this thing. Just down three. Four to one here. <coughs> Simpkins still has another ball. Aubrey McCreary. All right, fielder, taps the plate. Gets ready and infield playing in as McCreary fouls up and off the screen to even things up here 1 1. Wood County definitely thinking bunt. Infield still in. McCreary now steps in, taps that plate. Got a routine down there. Inside, Chopper back to the pitcher, and Simpkins will look at second and throw on the first for the out. So, sacrifice done. Ashland now with the runner out there in scoring positions. McCree did her job. Now batting for Ashland, number 21, Brooklyn Duckweiler. And brings up Brooklyn. The catcher. As I mentioned, what a season she had. Come into this game, batting 426. Three bombs. Four triples. You don't see that every day. Four triples and only one double, but again, 10 RBIs. Takes the ball there and does have a runner out there in score position. Zoe out there. Outside ball, just missing. So two balls, no strikes to Brooklyn Duckweiler, the sensational freshman. Definitely a two-sport athlete, two-sport star. Looks at ball three. Nice eye, being very patient. She steps back in after a look down at Coach Ingram. Moves a little dirt around, taps the plate, and here we go. 
Curveball chopped at the shortstop. That'd be fielded, played, thrown on. Ooh, I believe that was just a bang, bang play. What a great, I tell you what, that was a heck of a throw. That was a, in, that was a major league throw over there at first. J.C. Goad is an athlete now. I thought that was going to be a little closer. I thought she might be safe, but that throw by Goad just got right there, man. Some good defense showing out there today. As I mentioned, I think there's just one error so far today. That's a pretty clean game here through, I don't know, four and a half. So two outs now, runner still at second. There's a ground ball, short, that'd be filled by Steve. Little ball for chest, bad bounce. So it won't be tough. Runner comes at home, nice piece of base running out there by Zoe. I tell you what, that was a heads, heads up play right there. That's how you score runs. Ashland being very, very smart on the base pass. I tell you, that was a nice job. Zoe Smith will score. The eighth grader is showing some, now some moxie. Ashland, number 13, Jenna Delaney. Cut that lead in half, and Jenna Delaney will come up now. Of course, Jenna, we know all about her, how she can, she can hit 452 average. Leads the team in RBI to 16. Of course, a home run, two triples, eight doubles. What a stat line, folks. Rocket hit past the third baseman in the left field. That well, hold the runner at third. It was hit so hard. That ball was hit on a line, man. Right, they got right to Maddie Badgett in a hurry. Up next, number nine, Alona Troxler. So Ashton's still hanging in there with the. They got runners in the corner now with two outs, and that brings up the power hitting Alona Troxler. We all know what she can do, and I'm not sure if we get the pinch runner or not. It's, I don't think they're going to take the laney out, but anyway, they're having a Lance Reeser has a little meeting out there with these lady lines at the mound, and again, beautiful day for baseball here, or softball, excuse me, and couldn't dial one up any better right here for this My Town matchup. And again, I'd like to say thanks to Clark's Puppet Shop, John W. Clark Oil Company, and I tell you what, they do a lot for our community, and they do more than you could ever imagine. I'm telling you, they you can't go to a high school complex anywhere in eastern Kentucky and not see them being a part of it, being a sponsor. They too, just like my time TV, are a player's first organization. So anytime you get a chance, stop, return, refresh, refuel, get that good ice out of the out of the fountain drink area. Man, I tell you what, that's good stuff. And again, locally owned, you gotta love that. Nothing corporate. Corporates are right here. They employ a lot of people in this area. So again, return, refresh, refuel, guys. Shocks are first pitch ball. Two outs, bomb the fifth, one run in. Four to two, Boyd County. Ashland has them on the corners. Troxler can give us a lead with one swing of the bat here. It's a shot foul down to third base. Even things up at 1-1. One, one. Mm-hmm. Pot in the fifth. Four to two. Strike right there. Home plate umpire. So a ball, two strikes, not a Troxler. Two away. Runners on the corner. You can, I tell you what, you can look over there at first base and you can see Hamilton get that. Strike three called. That sun was in her eyes a little bit there, but it doesn't matter because Troxer goes down on strikes and another strikeout for Simpkins. And we are through five complete now. And Ashland does get a run back. They trail four to two. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. 
All righty. Welcome back, fans. We are live here at Paul G. Blazer High School in the Kitten Softball Complex. And you should see a whole plate on fire getting that plate cleaned off here for the sixth inning now. As Boyd County leads this My Town matchup, 4-2. to two. Kittens did get a run back there in the bottom of the fifth to pull within the two runs. And now batting for Boyd County, number 33. Boyd's been Boyd County all the way. They've led the whole time. As they struck first in the top of the first. So here we go now. We're getting this sixth inning underway. In a well-played game, clean game. Lane still on the mound. She's working. First pitch is fouled off. That's Brooke Jacobs batting. She had a big RPI back in the third, I believe it was. And her 381 average. Three doubles go along with that. All one pitch coming from Lane. Inside corner called strike. So, Addie Lane out ahead early here to Brooke Jacobs. Her 381 average. Here we go. Oh, got her chasing one right there. Nice, nice pitch by Hattie Lane. Gets put one out there and made her swing, and she fell for it. Now batting number three, Greg Stevens. So it's a big out for Hattie Lane. They want to get that first one out of the way on the here to six. and Keeps the bases empty, and the way Blue County's been playing today, they've been they play, played really well. They've got uh, the key hits and with runners in scoring position and some timely hitting. Went into dirt for a ball. Again, it's been a well played game. I hope you guys are enjoying this one. My town matchup, two great schools. Here we go. 1 0 pitch, taking first strike. So, Gray Stevens now was. Looking for something to hit here. Just trying to get on base. Having a good season. Like, as we mentioned, 333. 21 hits. Seven ribbies. And she smacks that one to center field. That's going to get down in the gap. Troxer cuts it off or hits the wall, but it'd still be a double. Whoa, what an arm by Troxer. How about that throw? He ended up being kind of close. It was kind of a gap shot, but with Troxer speed, I'm telling you what, that was one of the things I was impressed with. Uh, the Belfry game and Graham County game was the speed of the outfield out there with McCreary and Troxler and Ingram. Playing really well. I believe we got a new batter in here now. I believe that's Lacen Black. There we go, the right hander. She comes in now with one out. Runner out of second. Her team on top here in a 6 to 2 My town matchup. Swing didn't get it, so Lane gets ahead now. Hattie Lane needs to throw some strikes here. Keep her team close. We're right there. 4-2 lead for Boyd. That was in the air. First base side and out of play. We just kept, kept moving. I thought that might drop for a minute here, but. Nonetheless, Black now behind in the count here. No balls, two strikes. With one away. Runner out there at second base. Swing and a miss. So back to back strikeouts from Lane has really helped her calls here. Well, excuse me, that's the second strikeout. Gives her five now. Simpkins with eight, I believe. Unofficially, of course. So Jaden Goad will step in now. She had a big double last at bat. Left hander, and she steps in and she's ready. Almost comes out of the box completely for that one. I'm not sure if she's going to try to drag bun or what there. But takes the ball, and it's a, no strikes, a ball count to her now as Duck Waller taking her time looking down at coaching staff. Outside corner called strike. Even things up at 101. Hattie 
Patty Lang. On the mound, facing Jaden Goad. What kind of center fielder? Left hander. Again, looks like she's. This looks like Rod Carew out there. A lefty. Nonetheless, just like her sister, a good, fantastic hitter. 375 so far this season. 15 hits. And she puts a bat on that one. The short, oh, Delaney there. Oh, just didn't have a play. Just kind of hot shot to her and a runner kind of. She was looking at that runner and just couldn't feel that. But I think, you know what? I don't think that's an error. I think that's just an infield hit. It's been a tough play for anybody. Now batting number one, Ellen Simpkins. Even Barry Larkin. So, nonetheless, it's runners on the corner now with two away. Nobody in yet. But a big threat here. Two out threat from the Lady Lions. Casey Goad now on, on first. Didn't call that a fielder's choice. First pitch that was swung on in the air. Simpkins had a nice cut at it. As I mentioned, Simpkins, 350 average. And throwing really nice on the mound today. Fantastic pitcher, the youngster. Man, it's hard to believe how young some of these kids are out there. Simpkins an eighth grader. That just blows my mind. And she played last year, too. I remember calling a game for Boyd last year, and in which she played. Played well. But advantage goes to Addie Lane right now. She's ahead. No balls, two strikes. To Ellen Simpkins. Good kind of pitcher. Two-way runs on the corner. 4-2 game here. 6 10 and yeah, that may drop down. Hits hit a ton. McCurry gets to it. Wow. Nice job, McCurry. Nice extension out there to haul that thing in. And I tell you what, again, it's the speed out there and athleticism that Ashland has in the outfield. And it works with their advantage right there. But again, Boy County gets a hit. They strand two. And at five and a half mark, it's four two. Boy County. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. All righty, welcome back, fans. Paul G. Blazer High School here, Ashley Kitten Softball Complex. My Town TV matchup. I'm Brian Barber calling today's action for My Town TV. And players' first program is home half of the sixth inning here. Ashley down four to two. New trail. It's My Town matchup. Two of our favorite schools here, along with Russell and Graham County and Ironton. My Town lineup there. Glad to bring this to you here. First pitch just missing outside. Addie Lane as he swings that bat. Here we go. Ball no strikes. Takes ball too high and outside. A fastball. Simpkins trying to get her to chase that one. Addie Lane says no thanks. The check swing right there for another ball. She's ahead in the count. Three balls, no strikes. I'd say he should be taken all the way here on this 3-0 pitch. Simpkin set. Here he comes. Right down Broadway strike. 3-1 to count now to Addie Lane. Looking to help her own cause right here to get on base and try to get something going here. They're running out of at bats. 
That one's in the air, right field, slicing, but going back to make the catch. Nice catch out there by Grace Gilbert. All right, Fielder. Again, we've seen some good defense out here today, especially in the outfield. Next for Ashland, number two, Aubrey Foster. We'll talk about Ashland speed out there in the outfield. Well, boy, kind of has a little bit of their own, too. Gilbert played that really well with the sun out there. I'm telling you, that sun is right in her eyes. And the catch out there in right field right now is a dandy to me. So, one away now. Home at six. Nobody on board. There's a shot right to third base and thrown on and out. Quick out right there. Man, that, that ball got to Henderson right now. And again, she's able to throw on and, and retire the Ashland batter, Next which was. Ashley Ingram. Oh. Anyway, left fielder Ashley Ingram comes on the bat now with two away. Base is empty. And like I said, the Ashland's running out of time here. Boy County played really well today. As has Ashland. There's a bunt, first base side, foul. Ingram, you'll see she bunts a lot. She was thrown out on a bunt earlier in this game. I think she's just trying to get on base right now, maybe catch that infield asleep. So we'll do it again now with no balls and one strike. Two outs already here in the home six. 4-2, Boyd County. My town matchup. Been a good one. Appreciate you guys for watching. There's a bunt. Right back to the pitcher. Simpkins takes it. Throws on. Out. So a one, two, three innings for Simpkins. That didn't last no time, folks, right there. So we're going to move on now to the seventh inning, and uh, it's a 4-2 lead for the visitors. Boyd County Lions in this My Town matchup. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Alrighty, folks, welcome back here to Paul Blazer High School in the Ashland Kitten Softball Complex where they are trailing the visitors 42. As the visitors come to bat here in the top of seven. Final inning. Ashland running out of a bats. And Wood County would like to add an extra insurance run here. Open this thing up a little bit as JC Go. One of the better hitters in the region. We'll step in now to lead off things here in the seventh inning. It's my town matchup. First pitch, high ball. J.C. Gold, the Boyd County shortstop. And you have Jaden Goat out in center field. Both these teams having solid outfield. That one in the air. And you're going back, 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 pedaling to the wall and makes the catch. Nice job, Ashley, out there. And a long first out there for the Kittens. Again, can't say enough about both these teams and their outfield and the defense being tremendous. These ain't no bad bears or bad news bears teams, I'll tell you that. So one away now. I think continue to work here in the seventh. There's a shot that landed short. Man, I think it was hit a ton. Eh? Sheesh. Kind of handcuffed her there, and nothing she could do there is Wood County will have an infield hit, I believe, or maybe not, but anyway, Henderson will be aboard now. Now batting number 25, Myla Hamilton. And if that's ruled a hit, that will be her 21st hit. So she's moving that batting average right on up. She came in today at 302, and she'll leave her the higher average than that. She's had a good day to play. So now with one away, that brings up Hamilton. Way outside, runner goes. Throw down in time, out. How about that? Ducklar's got a gun, man. I'll tell you what, as I mentioned, that's a boy kind of does steal a lot of bases. He's only been caught five times in 48 attempts. Make that six times in 49 attempts now. 
as Duckwilder can just flat out get it down there, man. That was a major league throw, boy. Oof. Man. That's a big out, too, getting that insurance run out of there. And so two outs now here in the seventh. And what a great throw by Duckwilder, man. She is a sensational athlete. Swung on in the air. Hamilton's got that one going back, back, back. Troxer chasing and got it. So, again, nice work by the kid in outfield to take care of the Lions. They uh, strand nobody now after the big throw by Duck Waller, and they lead 4-2. We're coming to finish this one off here in the bottom of the seventh. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Hand-cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs, Texas Roadhouse has something for everyone. Visit TexasRoadhouse.com or download the Texas Roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online. Fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at Texas Roadhouse. Order their legendary catering for your next event. Located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall, Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. Man, welcome back, everybody. You're looking at the kids' softball complex here on the campus of Paul G. Blazer High School in Ashland, Kentucky, where the My Time matchup is coming to an end here. We move on to the bottom of the seventh now with Boyd County up on the home kittens, 4-2. Well-played game. Boyd County has, has had some clutch hitting, and they've out-hit the kittens today, and that's a, the difference pretty much. Both teams played really well defense. I believe they have a, each team has an error, maybe two, but... A couple of those I would definitely give an infield hit. Again, well played game. And Ashland on the short end of it right now. It's Riley Harmon would lead things off. Leading base runners and runs. Looking for the walk off or the tie to extend this. And Simkins has been pretty good all day. She's held him at bay. First pitch is I believe a strike he called. Yeah, leaves the ball, I guess. One oh. That was a ball, definitely. High and outside. I think so, yeah. So we'll see here. I'm thinking it's one oh one now, but here we go. In the air, over the shortstop's head and down for a base hit. Nice piece of hitting there by Harmon. And makes her turn there at first, and we'll probably see a pinch runner come on out here now. Here comes the pinch runner. Oh, Zoe Smith goes back. Got to announce it yet. Ingram says, get back here. Settle down. Zoe Smith was ready to get out there right now, man. So now with the off runner on, makes things a little more interesting here. And this is my town mega matchup. Zoe Smith. Zoe Smith goes on down the first base. He scored a run earlier. So we'll see what we can do here as McCreary steps in. Bottom seven, nobody out runner at first. Here we go. Check swing, I believe that's a strike. And just double checking there. And second base umpire says, yep, she went around, that was a strike. I could have told you that. All right, here we go. Hold one pitch. McCurry swings and misses. He drops behind now, 0 1 2. Well, he can't help but read for Aubrey. Solid player, just in a little bit of slump right now. These, these things happen. She will, she will fight out of it, I guarantee you. Strike three called. Boy County fans excited over there. Passing fans, chewing their nails. Up now number 21, Brooklyn Duckweiler. So here comes the top of the order now for these kids with Brooklyn Duckweiler. She could tie it up right now with one swing of the bat. Trust me. I'm sure Simpkins is aware of that. She prepares to come check. Oh, Brookwater chased that and fouled it off her ankle, look like. That stung. Coach Ingram coming down to check it out, make sure she's okay. Great guy right there, Scott Ingram. 
great with these kids and a great baseball mind. And it's a class act all the way around. I got a test for that myself. So no balls to strike now to Tuckweiler. Swung on in the air, right side, out of play, I believe. No, it drops just out of reach of these chasing lines. Tracy Gilbert, Stevens, and Hamilton all over there chasing that bad boy. Lions hungry for a win. They need to they win this one. They will move to 11 and 9. Kittens will fall to 7 and 8. Two good teams here playing playing well. They're going to get better and better as the season goes on. This could be a, another matchup for a district championship, I'm sure. Grounded back to the pitcher. Throwing on to second. They get the lead runner. Out. Second base umpire says. I don't believe that was the right call. So nothing changes now except for the outs. Grace that will be Delaney. two outs now. The runner on first. It's coming down to the Grace Delaney. And if it comes down to anybody, I tell you what, why not her? Grace, 21 hits, 333 average. Just have some pop in the bat. That is going to be off the second base with his glove and safe. So big break for the kittens. And Stevens just couldn't quite corral that one. And Hamilton trying to. That was just, I tell you what, that's just a tough play. Another tough play. It might even give that one there a single. It's hard to call an error on a play like that. Where it's such a tough play to make. And nonetheless, any will not continue for Delaney. That bat in the shoulder. Kittens on first and third. Jenna Delaney. That was in the dirt for a ball. Go down to second. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Doug Warf. That was probably close to a tie right there. That was the closest going to get out there. But the um, infield umpire right there. I'm sure he made the right call. I don't want to get on umpires. Either way, it's just not. They're human, and it's a tough job. And I guarantee you, don't pay well. She calls a strike there. So 1-1 one, one the count now with two away. Bottom of seventh. Ashland down by two. Do have two runners aboard. First and second. Tying run at first. Another called strike. So Jenna Delaney needs to do something here to keep this inning alive. 452 average. 16 RBIs, 19 hits. Puts a bat on that one, but out of play it goes. Count stays a ball and two strikes. Boyd County fans are rather relaxed over there. I see a national fan in the mix over there. What's he doing over there? Hmm. One-two pitch, two outs. Way outside the ball. Two-two to count now. Simpkins trying to get her a chase one or maybe trying to catch the runners going. That could have been a pitch out. So, two-two count, two outs, bottom seven, two-one. Again, it's popped up foul right side and just out of play behind the Boyd dugout. A couple youngsters fighting over the ball over there. Oh, back in my day it was, you bring the ball back and you got a free Coke. Now to get the balls back to you. 2 T pitch again, two outs. Swung on, that was in the air, left field. Going, going back, back to make the catch. Left field, oh, nice snag out there by Badgett. So Badgett will end things here today for this Titanic My Town TV struggle, and Boyd County has a hard-fought win today, and they will win 4-2, and they will improve now to 11-9, and, and the Kittens, of course, will fall to 7-8, and eight. and it's uh, nothing to hang your head about. Boyd County's a good team, and both these teams are playing better as the season goes. That's a sign of good coaching. Man, what a great matchup as you see the teams shake hands, and we're going to take a break, come back, and wrap these things up and get things out of here, and you're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology to understand, to be heard, to have a say.
Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Welcome back to Paul G. Blazer High School on the campus here. And you're looking at an empty kitten softball complex. We've got some kids out there in left field meeting and they're uh, discussing today's game, which they played well, but just not quite well enough to win. Didn't get the timely hitting, and Boyd County did, and that was a difference pretty much. Just a couple extra hits for Boyd County, and they got some great pitching from Ellen Simpkins, uh, the youngster, and she, uh, again, does a complete game, only gives up about three hits, and a fantastic job by her, and uh, she held these – Hot hitting kittens at bay. They came, the kittens came in here, winners of three or four, and uh, playing really good softball. And Boyd kind of able to get the streak stopped today. And and for Boyd County, they were kind of licking their wounds, losing three out of the last four, just the opposite. But you know, they were able to put things together and uh, have some timely hitting again. It's all about that timely hitting. You know, you want to get those hits with the runners in scoring position. They were able to do that today. And again, when you got players like Savannah Henderson and, and uh, J.C. Goat, of course, they can you can you can play some daggone good softball and create some runs. But again, Ashton, they were. Able to create a couple of runs on their own and uh, some, some good base running and some good defense. It was a really well-played game, a good game. And uh, I tell you what, both these teams played at the next level today. And uh, if you're both teams, got to be proud. Boy, kind of, you know, they represent themselves really well, as did Ashland. And, and both coaches should be proud. And, and uh, again, uh, from here, Boy County, they, uh, as I mentioned earlier, earlier in the broadcast, they will go on on the 18th, which is two days away, and they'll play Greenup County. And then they bounce back the next day and play Montgomery County. And then uh, actually three straight. And I have, he closed up with Fleming County on the 20th. That's three straightaway games. And then on the 23rd, they play Ashley, Ashley again. So for the Kittens, their next three up is they got Lewis County right here, and that's a, that's Thursday, 18th. And they don't play again until the 23rd, and that's away out of Boyd County. And then they come back home on the 25th of April to face Johnson Central, a game I think we may have here for you on, on My Town TV. Again, it's a, I was trying to get some word on the uh, the boys' baseball game. But, again, you can check that out on our, on the other My Town uh, a feed and uh, they're, they're playing Ashland, another big my town matchup on the on the diamond for the boys. And of course, Ashland's been struggling mildly this year in, in baseball. They got off to a kind of a rugged start there, losing their first day, but they've kind of bounced back and won a couple in a row now. So maybe things are getting the ship's getting right over there for the boys. We'll see again and again. You can catch that game again on my town TV just on the other feed. And again, it's been a great day for uh, baseball here. We uh, appreciate everybody for watching. And, and until next time, uh, I'm Brian Barber. I'm signing out. We'll see everybody later. Good night.